Hey everybody, thanks for joining us in this little work in progress video that we're throwing together here. Just a couple of quick notes about this video. We are filming, the, or recording this in 720. Um, so everything you see here should not be a reflection on the texture or the model quality of work. If you want to get into that, you can definitely go back and check some of the work in progress pictures that we posted already just a couple of days ago. Those were uh, done in 4K straight off the sim. Uh, the purpose of this video is to show you some of the animations that uh, Marwin's been working on uh, for the C750. Um, you're gonna, we're gonna cover a little bit about some of the stuff that's going on in the tail. Um, do not have the uh, clamshells done yet. Uh, we'll cover some of the flaps uh, and uh, some of the stuff that's going on in the gear. So with that, let's uh, start up in the tail. Marwan, you want to talk a little bit about um, the uh, the trim animation? Yeah, so the uh, trim uh, uh, animation on the C750, it's essentially the whole empennage, the whole tail moves for trim. It goes for a 12 degrees nose down all the way up to a only a mere 2 degrees nose up. Uh, and the elevator goes to a 12 degrees nose up, 19 degrees nose down. So this is as far as the tail animation goes. We also have the rudder. We have the top part of the rudder and bottom part. Each serve a different purpose and actuates at different angles. This guy is limited to a maximum of 30 degrees when the speed is uh, like when we're uh, stopped. Uh, this guy is, uh, this part is maximum 18 degrees, and this scales with the speed of the aircraft. The faster you go, the less deflection is allowed uh, until um, we're looking at around four degrees of maximum, uh, of maximum uh, attenuation here. And Marwan, real quick, um, uh, can you walk us through what's going on with the flaps uh, so that we can get to the, the landing gear as well? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so the flaps, uh, yeah, this is the animation of the flap. This is it, it in a full position. This is it as it's retracting. Um, the notches are not yet uh, set up. We have, and the slats are yet in work progress, but this is the general animation uh, that we are uh, putting in. The timing is just for development purposes sped up. Um, so this is for the flat portion. We have also the ailerons, which is coming in multiple parts. So the ailerons have a main ailerons part, a uh, outboard and inboard roll spoilers. Uh, the, actu uh, the, the actuation table is uh, the main aileron goes to three degrees, and then outboard roll spoiler goes starts actuating, and then when it's six degrees, the inboard roll spoiler starts actuating. Both reaches around 40 degrees maximum deflection on 68% deflection of the uh, of the yoke. And this guy continues afterwards to 100% deflection of maximum 15 degrees up and down. And then we have yep, the go ahead. Uh, spoiler animations as well. All right, and let's take a look real quick. I think we got about a minute left here. Then uh, we can uh, look at some of the work that you've done on the um, the compression for on the landing gear. Yeah. All right, fantastic. So this is like the first iteration of the compression. What we're trying to set up here is a proper working suspension system. Uh, so you can see as I'm doing very abrupt changes, the weight of the aircraft shifts on the wheels and the suspension takes in this force, dampens it. Um, and as the speed is increasing, the effect is even more dramatic. Now I'm trying to make very hard uh, yaws uh, at 70 knots. Yeah, so this is, it needs a bit of tuning. Maybe the effect is a little overdone at the moment. But yeah, this is uh, essentially, I think it's a pretty cool effect and it gives a lot of life to the aircraft while it's on the ground. All right, thanks, Marvin. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this little check-in. We'll try and do some more of these uh, so you guys can uh, follow along as this project continues to develop. Uh, see you all, all right. later. Fantastic. Thanks.